Hello there, everybody. Ardaramus here, just giving you a mid-November update. Uh, as you can see, I've been working on an NPC class, trying to get that all figured out. RM2K Dev has given me some pointers on timing control that have been very helpful. Um, still trying to wrap my mind around all this X and A stuff, but um. It seems to be working pretty well here. Each NPC has its own randomized timer, so they sort of move on their own. And <clears throat> actually, it, the timer isn't randomized. The um, the random numbers are generated inside the class. So I'm going to go ahead and make this full screen and see what happens. See how well it bogs down. It's not too bad. I'm on my laptop here at home, still getting 1,200. Um, frames per second, which is pretty outstanding. And these little guys are running around. I'm sure I can do this, <coughs> excuse me, more efficiently, but um, so far it's turning out pretty nicely. Still a lot of things to do and a lot of things for me to learn. Um, kind of look at my code here. Essentially, what I've got going is I've set up, you know, an NPC type so I can randomize the type of NPC generated, or I can specifically call it. Um, gave it a name and height, width, source rectangle, um, uh, position and movement steps, direction, things like that. <clears throat> the reason I put in steps is to limit uh, how far they go before they stop moving. And so what I've done is taken my tile size, which in this case is 32 pixels by 32, and they move that distance and then stop and, you know, wait for their next update, <clears throat> which I'm calling from essentially an AI thing, which is uh, really still in its uh, elementary state here. Just a random action, which in this case is only one action, and that's movement. Uh, what I'd like to do is move my timer, you know, my timing from my main form. Whoops. I've also created a tile class, as you can see here. This was an experiment. I wanted to see if uh, generating tiles as individual objects would have any impact on performance. I was thinking it might give me some more controls over what the tile is capable of, if the tile's animated, things like that. Um, just something I wanted to play with. I kind of like how it's turning out so far. It's kind of nice to be able to assign different properties or parameters to a tile. So a um, little different approach than uh, what I've done before, but it seems to be working as you've seen. Anyway, uh, right now I have the timers inside of my game loop, and what I'd like to do is take these uh, timers that I've created. They're not actual timers, uh, as I stated before, but environment ticks is what I'm monitoring for these. Um, anyway, it appears to be working nicely, thanks to RM2K Dev's pointers. Um, so my next step is just to move those over to my NPC class. Anyway, I just thought I'd show you what I've been working on. I know many, many people have been asking me for NPC uh, functions and classes and things like that. So, as you can see, I'm working on it. Um, haven't really tackled this before, so it's kind of kind of new to me. <clears throat> seems to be working though and I am satisfied with the results. I'd like to just uh, get it more efficient. Anyway, I uh, hope uh, I can get an actual tutorial out to you. As you can see it's pretty complex so you know learn trying to figure out how to squeeze that into a tutorial that's under an hour long would be uh, fun. <laughs> Anyway, I'll catch you guys later. Take care. Bye.